everyone today i'm going to start the next chapter of class 8 standard from the book oxford press university and the chapter name is father's help the chapter was written by mr rabindranath tagore so here i start lying in bed swami realized with a shudder that it was monday morning now swami the first character in the story uh, he realized when he woke up with sudden jerk he realized that it was a monday morning it looked as though only a moment ago it had been the last period on friday now he is thinking that uh, how easily man means how fastly friday saturday sunday has gone so he is thinking about the last night of or last time of friday and it looked like that only a moment ago when he has gone through the friday so already monday was here he hoped that an earthquake would reduce the school building to dust but that good building the albert mission school had withstood similar prayers for over a hundred years now now what he is thinking if you will be at his place and most of students usually think when we are not in mood to go school we think that what excuse we can make at home to stay back at home so he is also thinking and what he is expecting always when he don't want to go school he always expect an earthquake could come and destroy my school building but that building was too good of which school the name of his school is the albert mission school had withstood similar prayer for over a hundred years now at nine o'clock swami nathan wailed i have a headache now finally at nine o'clock till the time he was on the bed and he was thinking to make a excuse to stay back at home and finally he come up with an excuse and that excuse is of headache and he wailed that i am having a headache his mother said why don't you go to school in a jutka now here a word comes jutka at the footers you can check its meaning a two wheeled horse drawn carriage so his mother is suggesting that you can take if you are not feeling well you can take jutka at home at, uh, from to school today so what he replied so that i may be completely dead at the other end have you any idea what means to be jolted in a jutka now what he is saying what he is explaining to mother that if i will take jutka to school already i am not well and in jutka i need energy because that is not automatic okay you need force you need energy to operate the jutka so he is saying that already i am not well if i will take jutka i will definitely dead okay how may how have you many important lesson today now mother asked from him that do you have any important lesson today in school important that geography teacher has been teaching the same lesson for a, for over a year now what he is saying that geography teacher is teaching the same lesson from last year every year he used to teach the same lesson and from one year he is teaching the same lesson only and we have arithmetic which means arithmetic means mathematics which means for a whole period we are going to be beaten by the teacher important lesson now he replied like this that no important lesson i am having at school and mother generously suggested that swami might stay at home now finally mother mother get consoled after seeing his condition and after listening from him that uh, in school also there is no important lesson so finally she said okay you might stay at home then at 9:30 when he ought to have been shouting in the school prayer hall swami was lying on the bench in mother's room now is at this time he he always be at school in the school prayer hall but today what he is doing at that time he was lying on the bench in his mother room father asked him have you no school today now finally father has entered in house and after seeing him he asked immediately that you don't have any school today headache he replied nonsense dress up and go usually father used to treat us like this if we skip any of our school day headache again he replied loaf about less on sunday and you will be without a headache on monday now what he is saying that if you will play less on sa- sundays 
you will not have headache on monday swami knew how stubborn his father could be and change his tactics now stubborn means ziddi so he knows that my father is very stubborn okay and he can change all his tactics all his strategy to skip the school i can't go so late to the class he replied i agree now father said i agree but you will have to it is your own fault you should have asked me before deciding to stay away the father is saying that if you were planning if you were uh, thinking that i'm not well and today i'm going to skip my school so you should tell me before and now it's all your fault if it's late so you have to go school on a late time what will the what will the teacher think if i go so later what will the teacher think if i go so late sorry i have uh, read the wrong word at last that is late so now he is uh, talking about the teacher that if i will go late then what i am going to say to teacher and what teacher will think tell him you had a headache and so are late he will beat me if i say so will he now father again asked that will he beat you let us see what is his name samuel the name of teacher is samuel does he beats the boys now father is asking again that he used to beat boys he is very violent he replied especially with boys who come late now he is connecting everything with his current situation because he is late now so he is making those statement for the teacher which actually relate with his current situation some days ago a boy was made to stay on his knees for a whole period in a corner of the class because he came late now see he is telling one of the case of that student who came late to the class that too after getting six cuts from the cane from stick from stick he got six time uh six six cuts on his palm and having his ear twisted and teacher twisted his ear also i wouldn't like to go late to samuel's class if he's so violent why not tell your headmaster about it now father asked that he if he is so violent and he's punishing you in this manner then why don't you tell to your headmaster they say that even the headmaster is afraid of him he is such a violent man do you really think that any teacher could be so violent with a student that he will always beat and so harshly even in this case headmaster will not do anything it's actually a fake thing he is making fake account of Samuel in front of his father and then swami gave a lurid account of samuel's violence here lurid account lurid means shocking in its vividness okay now in his account in account of samuel he was saying the bad things how when he started caning he would not stop till he saw blood on the boy's hand now see what he's saying that he till the time he will beat the boy till he do, he didn't saw blood on boy's hand which he made the boy press to his forehead like a vermilion marking now when somebody will beat you okay continuously then with that pain you to bear that pain you will hold your hand okay or you will hold your body tightly so that you can bear that pain now he, here he vermilion marking means and uh, boy pressed to his forehead meaning is that when teacher used to beat the boy on hand give sticks on the hand at that time with the pain with that pain the boy pressed his forehead to bear that pain he pressed his forehead to control okay and that press that hard force make a leave a red mark vermilion marking bright red shade marking on his forehead Swami hoped that with this his father would be made to see that he couldn't go to his class late. Now he's thinking that after listening all this thing, definitely my father will not allow me to go late in the class. But father's behavior took an unexpected turn. He became excited. What do these teacher mean by beating our children? He said. 
they must be driven out of service i will see now what he is saying that these type of teachers should be restigated these teachers should be driven out from the school i will see the result was that he proposed to send swami late to his class as a kind of challenge and now father wants to send his son definitely in his, in his class late as a challenge he was also going to send a letter with swami to the headmaster no amount of protest from swami was of any avail swami had to go to school now this time swami couldn't do anything because father has listened and after listening all those things about a teacher he is reacting as a parent parent concern has started here so here he is not having anything to say to his father now swami had to go school by the time he was ready father had composed a letter to the headmaster put it in an envelope and sealed it what have you written father he excited because he was worried inside from inside he was worried so he asked from the father swami nathan asked apprehensively meaning is worriedly expecting trouble that something is going to be happen in this manner he asked from the father nothing for you he replied give this to your headmaster and go to your class have you written anything about a teacher samuel now he finally asked the question which was running inside his mind that you do you have written anything about my teacher samuel plenty of things about him he replied father replied that plenty of things i have written about him in this letter when your headmaster read it he will probably dismiss samuel from the school and hand him over to the police even what has he done father now see everything he has told to him now he is asking that what he has done well there is a full account of everything he has done in the letter give it to your headmaster you must bring an acknowledgement from him in the evening means you will get the information what in the evening that what you are headmaster has done with the teacher samuel swami went to school feeling that he was the worst prejurer on earth prejurer means a person who lies after swearing that he will tell the truth his conscience bothered him he wasn't all sure if he had been accurate in his description of samuel means the things which he told his father about samuel he is not actually conf- uh, sure that those things are real or only a fake only a lie he could not decide how much of what he had said was imagined and how much of it was real he stopped for a moment on the road side to make up his mind about samuel he was not such a bad man after all now what his his mind is guiding him that after all that samuel is actually not a bad man he has given a fake account of his teacher in front of his father personally he was much more genial than the rest genial means warm and friendly he was having friendly and warm nature who samuel the teacher often he cracked a joke or two centering around swami's inactions and swami took it as a mark of samuel's personal regard for him but there was no doubt that he treated people badly his cane skin pupils hand now what he is one side he is thinking that he is having different kind of nature he is friendly he is having a warm nature but one side what he is making his mind that but uh, he he treat people badly his cane skin pupils hand he used to give canes on pupil hand he used to beat them swami cast his mind about for an instance of this now everything is going in his mind because it's time to give the letter once he reach in the school so that he was worried fr- uh, frightening because he is not sure that what he was written what he was said to his father is true actually or not there was none within his knowledge years and years ago he was reputed to have skinned the knuckles of a boy in first standard and made him smear the blood on his face now he's thinking people used to say about samuel when he uh, that in first standard he used to beat students he used to give cane on the knuckles of a boy okay and till that till the time when he didn't saw the blood on boy's face no one had actually seen only people only student have heard this thing about samuel in the school it's like a rumor 
बट ईयर आफ्टर ईयर द स्टोरी परसिस्टेड अमंग द बॉयज परसिस्टेड मीन्स स्प्रेड अमंग ऑल द बॉयज इन द स्कूल स्वामीज हेड वॉज डिजी विथ कन्फ्यूजन इन रिगार्ड टू सेम्यूल्स करेक्टर वेदर ही वॉज गुड और बैड ही इज नॉट श्योर वेदर ही डिजर्व द एलिगेशन इन द लेटर और नॉट Swami felt an impulse to run home and beg his father to take back the letter. He wants to go back home and request his father to take back the let- letter. But father was an obstinate man. What he has done, he will not take the back step. He was st- stubborn, ziddi. As he approached the yellow building of his school, he realized that he was perjuring himself and was ruining his teacher because he was saying bad thing about the teacher without knowing the reality probably the headmaster would dismiss samuel and then the police would chain him and put him in jail for all his disgrace humiliation insult means humiliation means insult and suffering who would be responsible this question is again and again knock giving a knock on his in his brain in his mind swami shuddered shocked the more he thought of samuel the more he grieved for him the dark face his small red streak eyes this is a character features of samuel teacher the dark face his small red streak eyes his thin line of mouse stage now on this page you can even see the actual uh, samuel's picture it's given here okay so his unshaven cheek and chin his yellow coat everything filled swami with sorrow with sadness as he felt the bulge of the letter in his pocket he was feeling the weight of that letter in the pocket which carries false think about the teacher samuel he felt like an executioner for a moment he was angry with his father and wondered why he should not fling into the gutter the letter of a man so unreasonable and stubborn he was thinking that i should put this letter into a gutter as he entered the school gate an idea occurred to him finally he got an idea when he entered in the school building a sort of solution he wouldn't deliver the letter to the headmaster immediately now what he's planning as his father told him that deliver the letter when you will reach the school just deliver this letter to your headmaster but now what he is planning that i am not going to give the letter to my headmaster immediately but at the end of the day to that extent he would disobey his father and exercise his independence means one time for one time he is dis- disobeying his father okay means he his father has told him to give the letter when you reach the school and till that time why he is gi- uh, trying to give the letter why he is planning to give the letter at last because he wants to think about and he wants to plan about the things which are going inside his mind there was nothing wrong in it and father would not know it anyway now he's thinking okay, there is nothing wrong in this even my father will also not uh, get this information that i have given the letter not in morning but in evening time if the letter was given at the end of the day there was a chance that samuel might do something to justify the letter means he is having a plan that maybe in whole day samuel will do that action those action which he has told to his father and the complaint which my his father has written about samuel in the letter maybe he will do the same behavior today in the, uh, to, uh, until the evening time swami stood at the entrance to his class samuel was teaching earth math maths he was teaching he looked at swami for a moment swami stood hoping that samuel would fall on him and tear his skin off means he will scold him and he will start beating him but samuel merely asked but in place of this normally samuel asked are you just coming to the class yes sir he replied you are you are half an hour late i know it swami hope that he would be attacked now he's thinking he's ready that now maybe after listening my reply he he will jump on me and start beating me he almost prayed god please make samuel beat me he is praying from god that samuel become uh, should samuel will become angry and he started beating me he was praying from god why are you late samuel asked swami wanted to reply just to see what you can do this was the 
actual answer which was going inside his mind when swami when samuel asked it why are you late the real answer which comes in his mind that time to give that is just to see what you do what samuel can do but what he replied i have a headache sir then why did you come to the school at all a most unexpected question from samuel means he he was behaving so warmly so caring okay my father said that i shouldn't miss the class sir said swami this seemed to impress samuel after listening this it's it seeming that he impressed after listening that and he replied your father is quite right a very sensible man he we want more parents like him now what swami was thinking you don't know what my father has done to you swami thought he was more puzzled than ever about samuel's character because what he is seeing from his open eyes is different what he has written what he has told to his father in at home all right go to your seat have you still a headache again he asked slightly sir means little bit swami went to his seat with a bleeding heart means internally he was very sad his heart is crying he had never met a man so good as samuel and about this good man he has written he has told bad things the teacher was inspecting the home lesson which usually produced scene of a great violence notebook would be flung at face now finally he is going to uh, check the homework and he's um, inside his mind he's thinking that now finally violence will be started who the person who has not done the homework maybe uh, he will get punished he will get scolded and uh, samuel will means uh, fly the notebook on their faces boys would be abused means a teacher will abuse the boys can't and made to stand up on the benches but today samuel appeared to have developed more tolerance and gentleness but today samuel is behaving in a different manner he pushed away the bad books just touched the people with the cane not he didn't beat them with cane he only touched the people with cane never made anyone stand up for more than a few minutes swami's turn came he almost thank god for the chance swami nathan where is your homework i have not done my any homework sir he said blandly blandly means unemotionally there was a pause why headache asked samuel yes sir all right sit down swami sat down wondering thinking what had come over samuel the period came to an end and swami felt dis- desolate the last period for the day was again taken by samuel he came this time to teach them indian history first uh, in that lecture he was teaching maths and this lecture last lecture he is going to teach history the period began at 3:45 and ended at 4:30 swami nathan had sat through the previous periods thinking acutely he was planning that what can i do or what can i uh, make the situation in which samuel react violently okay he could not devise any means of provoking samuel when the clock struck 4 o'clock swami felt desperate because it's time to give that letter to the headmaster fastly time is moving half an hour more only half an hour for the class is left samuel was reading the text the portion describing which topic he was teaching vasco da gama's arrival in india the boys listen in half lango langjor Lancho means lack of energy. In last period, mostly all students feel lethargic. They don't want to listen because finally they get tired. They lost all their activeness and become tired. So here also in the class, boys listen with half lancho. Swami suddenly asked at the top of his violence, "Why did Columbus not come to India, sir?" Different question. irrelevant question he asked he lost his way teacher replied i can't believe it it is unbelievable sir why such a great man would he have not known the way means he is very popular he is a great man how he can uh, lost his way it's impossible don't shout teacher replied i can hear your you quite well he was shouting his pitch was too high i am not shouting sir this is my ordinary voice 
and what he is saying that this is my ordinary voice which god has given me how can i help it it's very much clear that he is provoking him provoking samuel to beat him to scold him that why that's why he is doing like this shut up and sit down swami nathan sat down feeling slightly happy now after listening shut down from uh, shut up from teacher inside he is feeling slightly happy at his success he is thinking that finally little bit success i received that the teacher threw a puzzled suspicious glance at him he was looking a uh, teacher was samuel was looking at him in a suspicious and uh, puzzled uh, manner and resumed his lesson and he continued his lesson his next chance occurred when shankar of the first bench got up and asked now another student who was sitting on first bench shankar asked a question from samuel sir was vasco da gama the very first person to come to india before the teacher could answer before samuel could answer that question swami again shouted from the back bench that's what they say the teacher and all the boys looked at swami the teacher was puzzled by swami's obtrusive behavior today strange behavior today unpleasant behavior why he is doing like this today why he is interrupting teacher was thinking about swami swami nathan you are shouting again he said i am not shouting sir how can i help my voice given by god again he started the same dialogue the school clock struck a quarter hour a quarter more is left swami must do something drastic drastic means with a great consequence done suddenly something big he has to do only less time he is having within a 15 minutes he has to do something drastically samuel had scrawled at him and stunned him but it was hardly adequate swami felt that with a little more effort samuel could be made to deserve dismissal dismissal and imprisonment now what he is thinking that only little bit lit, uh, only one more time i have to irritate samuel and definitely he is going to dismiss me from the class and give me punishment also the teacher came to the end of a uh, section in the textbook and stopped he proposed to spend the remaining few minutes left over minute putting question to the boys he ordered the whole class to put away their books and ask some one in the second row from the second row he has asked one question from the boy what's the date of vasco da gama's arrival in india swami nathan shot up again again he stood up and screeched screech means he shouted with a sharp voice 1648 december 20 now again teacher replied you needn't you need not shout said the teacher he asked has your headache made you mad means you uh, teacher is asking that you are having headache i think your headache has made you mad that's why you are behaving like this you are behaving like a mad person i have no headache now sir replied the thunder brightly con- very confidently he replied sit down you idiot swami was thrilled happy at, at being called an idiot after listening idiot from teacher's mouth he was happy if you get up again i will cane you finally teacher came in the position in which swami nathan wants him now he said that if you will get up again i will beat you with my cane said the teacher swami sat down feeling happy at the promise the teacher then asked i am going to put a few questions on the mughal period among the mughal emperors whom would you call the greatest whom the strongest and whom the most religious emperor swami again got up as soon as he was seen as soon as samuel has seen him the teacher said emphatically sit down emphatically means with special force i want to answer sir swami nathan replied sit down no sir i want to answer now see how stubborn he is what did i say i would do if you got up again now teacher is reminding him that what i say what i told you before i told you that if you again stand up what what i will do you i you remember you said you would cane me and peel the skin off my knuckles and make me press it on my forehead advanced things he is telling only teacher said that i will cane you and two things he has added from himself what he his father has written in the letter what he told about samuel to his father those thing finally he added in that he said only samuel said that i will cane you if you will again stand up but what he said 
that you said that you will cane me peel the skin of my knuckles and make me pressed it to on my forehead all right come here now finally teacher has lost his temper and he uh, he said come now i am i'm going to cane you finally swami nathan left his seat joyfully now how happily he is going to get the punishment and hopped jumped onto the platform the teacher took out his cane from the drawer and shouted angrily open your hand you little devil he whacked three wholesome cut on each palm one by one he has given three cuts on his palm swami received them without blenching blenching means drawing back without taking back his hand and without showing pain he has taken all three cuts after half a dozen the teacher asked will this do means if these are enough for you or you want some more swami merely held out his hand again he begin he uh, take out his hand, bring out his hand again in front of samuel and received two more cuts and the bell rang finally swami jumped down from the platform with a light heart finally he has done what he want though his hands were smarting smarting means strung uh, uh, throbbing with pain because he received how many total five cuts from the cane on hand but still he picked up his book took out the letter finally lying in his pocket and ran to the headmaster's room he found the door locked but what he found that headmaster's room was locked he asked the pn where is the headmaster why do you want him pn asked my father has sent a letter for him he has taken the afternoon off and won't come back for a week you can give the letter to the assistant headmaster now what he is suggesting that you can give the letter to the assistant headmaster he will be here now who is he now he asked that who is the assistant headmaster your teacher samuel he will be here in a second now what news he received the headmaster the assistant headmaster is no one else his own teacher samuel and about samuel he has written in that letter and the letter of complaint he is going to give to samuel only swami nath fled from the place ran away from the place as soon as swami went home with the letter father remarked father said i knew you wouldn't deliver it you coward father is saying this that i know that you will not deliver this letter to your teacher you are a what you you trembled okay i swear our headmaster is on leave swami nathan start, began to reply father replied don't lie in addition to being a coward already you are coward now don't add your lies into it Swami held up the envelope and said I will give this to the headmaster as soon as he is back Father snatched it from his hand tore it up and thrust and disposed that letter paper letter uh, letter into the waste paper basket under his table then he muttered don't come to me for help even if samuel throttles you you deserve your samuel throttle means strangles now actually father knows this thing that his child is making false account of his own teacher just because to skip one day from school and because intentionally he has written that letter to the headmaster and he knows that swami nathan will not deliver that letter and he whole day he will do he will work hard to make all those written things in the reality and he also knows his father also know, knows that samuel is not a violent teacher he is a very good teacher sincere teacher and he never give punishment to anyone so finally father has taught a lesson to his son this is all about the story and this beautiful story was written by rk narayan hope you understood and rest of the things if you have to ask me any doubt any query you can ask me on the comment section as well you can ask me personally on the whatsapp group thank you and take care